Today the topic of our discussion is relationship between HCF and LCM. HCF is the highest common factor and LCM is the least common multiple. The factors and the multiples are somehow related. The product of two numbers can always be HCF multiplied by the LCM of those two numbers. This is only one thing that you need to remember that the product of two numbers is equal to the HCF of those two numbers and the LCM of those two numbers. So the HCF becomes product of the two numbers divided by the LCM of those two numbers and the LCM of those two numbers become as the product of two numbers divided by the HCF of two numbers. So we are just going to look at few examples which will make this more clear to you. Find the LCM if the product of the two numbers is equal to 300 and the HCF is 5. So the formula that we use here is the LCM is equal to the product of two numbers divided by the HCF. Because we have to find the LCM here, so we use LCM is equal to product of two numbers divided by the HCF. Now, the product of two numbers is known to us. It is 300 and the HCF is 5. So, we will just write the numbers here and we will calculate them by division. 300 if divided by 5 gives us 60. So, what is the LCM? The LCM of the two numbers is 60. Yes. Okay, we will look for another example. Find the HCF if the product of two numbers is 3456 and the LCM given is 144. So, what is the formula that we are going to use here? Yes, HCF is equal to product of two numbers divided by the LCM of those two numbers. Now, what is the product? 3456 and what is the LCM? 144. When we divide these two numbers, we get 24 as the answer. What is 24? 24 is the HCF of these two numbers. Now, we have another question. The HCF and LCM of two numbers are 12 and 1080 respectively. If the first number is 120, find the second number. Now we have learned to find the LCM, we have learned to find the HCF. Now if one of the numbers is given and the HCF is known, LCM is known, how to find the second number? We know that product of two numbers is HCF into LCM. So number 1 into number 2 gives us HCF into LCM. So we know that first number when multiplied with the second number will give us the HCF multiplied by the LCM that is 12 multiplied by 1080. What is the first number here? 120. So we will just write 120 under the first number and second number we are yet to find. And when we multiply these two numbers we get 12960. Now what will happen to the left side first number? It will go to the right side and we will divide it by 120. So 12,960 when divided by 120 gives us 108. So what is 108? It's the second number. Hence the second number is 108. Okay, now we are going to look at one of the questions which is based on the same concept. There are four poles measuring 105 centimeter. 120 centimeter, 125 centimeter, and 140 centimeter, respectively. If they have to be arranged into pieces of equal length, what is the maximum length they have to be cut into? Now, what have they asked us to find? The maximum length. What is maximum? Maximum is the biggest word. Whenever we have to find a biggest thing, we have to find the HCF in that question. Okay, length of four poles, 105 centimeter, 120 centimeter, 125 centimeter and 140 centimeter. This is going to be the first statement. 
Now, looking at the solution statement, so the maximum length in which the poles should be cut to get all pieces of equal size is there, HCF. I told you HCF is the smaller number than these numbers, but it is always going to be asked as the maximum or the biggest number. We will say that it is the maximum length, but it is always going to be smaller than these all numbers. Okay. So, to find the HCF, we have found the prime factors of these numbers. The prime factors of 105 are 3, 5 and 7. So, when they multiply together, we get 105. Similarly, for 120, we have 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. For 125, we have 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. 140 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 into 7. This you can find by the prime factorization method. You can find the prime factors of the numbers. The prime factor that is common in them, you see that 3 is not everywhere. 3 is not in 125, 140. 2 is not everywhere. Why? Because 2 is not in 125. Similarly, 7 is not present in every question. So, we have just one 5 which is common in all the four numbers. So, the prime numbers which is common is 5. So, the HCF of the four numbers is 5. Hence, the answer statement becomes the maximum length in which the poles should be cut to get all pieces of equal size is 5 cm. So, when you are going to cut the poles in 5 cm, all the pieces will be of equal size. I hope this is clear to everyone. We will do another question. The three different bells at different testing machines in a laboratory ring after 48 minutes, 60 minutes, 84 minutes respectively. If they ring simultaneously at 1 p.m. together, at what time will they ring simultaneously again? Now what does this mean? This means that the three bells they ring after 48 minutes, 68 minutes and 84 minutes. And at 1 a.m. today, they rang at the same time. They all rang at 1 a.m. Now, after 1 a.m., when are they again going to ring together? So, this is the question and this is how we are going to do it. The time taken by the three bells to ring will be 48 minutes, 60 minutes and 84 minutes. Now, looking at the solution statement, so the time at which the bells will again ring after 1 a.m. will be given by the LCM of 48, 60 and 84. Why the LCM now? Now, can we say that they are going to ring below 48 minutes, 60 minutes and 84 minutes? Can they ring before this time? No, they are going to take more time than 48, 60 and 84 minutes to ring together again. So, when we have to find a bigger number than the numbers we are looking for, we always look at the least common multiple that is the LCM. Now, you can solve this using the long division method or maybe any other method that you find easy. Here I have used the long division method, so I will explain it by that. The numbers 48, 60 and 84 taken together in the division method. They all are even numbers so divided by 2. We get 24, 30 and 42 respectively. Again they are even numbers so we divide by 2. Then 24 is an even number. We again divide it by 2 and the others we will carry down as it is. So 12 divided by 2 we get 6 but 15 and 24 are not divisible by 2. So 15 and 24 are as the same. Now 6 is again divisible by 2. So we write 3 over here and 15 and 21 are carried as such. Now 3, 15 and 21 they all are divisible by 3. So 3 when divided by 3 I get a 1. 15 when divided by 3 I get a 5. 21 divided by 3 I get a 7. Now 5 is divisible by 5 while 7 is written as it is. Now next 7 is divisible by 7. So we get 1, 1, 1 as the quotient here. So we are not going to do anything else. These numbers in the pink color, these are the factors over here. Now 
when these factors are multiplied together we get the least common multiple that is 1680 now these bells are going to ring after 1680 minutes after 1 am now but we have to find the time here so 1680 is not the answer what are we going to do next hence the time after which the three bells will ring will be 1680 minutes now we are going to convert this minutes into hours because 1 hour is equals to 60 minute so we divide 1680 by 60 and we get 28 hours the three bells will ring after 28 hours after 1 am so when we add 28 hours to 1 am we get 5 am how 5 am 1 am plus 24 hours will give us 1 am on the next day so 4 hours were left so 1 am plus 4 hours 5 am of the next day so this 5 am will not be on the same day it will be the next day so we will say that the three bells will ring simultaneously again at 5 am tomorrow